Okay guys, so once more we are here for the part 2 of our video Arena with Paladin So to do a quiet recap for those of you that didn't watch the first one I'm basically doing a Paladin Arena that went practically really well I have a really nice deck uh, with the essential cards of Paladin like True Silver Champion, 1 True Silver, 1 Blessing of Kings, 2 Consecrations I have some Dragon Synergy, some heal, and yeah. So, unfortunately, we got one loss because we got disconnected from our third game. That we were absolutely wrecking that guy, but I hope that that doesn't happen again. And let's just go through it. So, yeah, fourth match. Let's go, guys. Uh, also, I'm not having, I'm not recording the sound of the game. I don't know if you guys prefer sound or just hear my sexy voice. So, yeah, that's. That's just you guys that have to decide whether I should have some game like sound on or just my voice. But yeah, let's see. We have a hunter. That's 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 scary. Scary. Let's go ahead and take out the Lord of the Ring and our Dragon Consort and just. Stay with the Puddle Stomper, the Shadowson Cleric, Ironfire Geatley, and Blue Kill Warrior. So, really nice opening. I don't, we don't have one drop, so yeah, that's that was really nice open. I don't think we need one drops. One drops are good, but we really don't need them. This guy does turn one Voodoo Doctor. Oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck? And he says, Greetings, Traveler. So, yeah, greetings. I, I am confused right now. I think I will coin out the bluegill. But I'm not sure if I should coin out a bluegill, you know. Right now I'm a bit confused. Yeah, I probably will let him go. Like, let it go. Let it go. Okay, so he puts down the mess scientist. So he's going pretty hard. I think I'm going to just, uh, I don't really know, just maybe do a bluegill warrior on that mad scientist, probably, that is correct. Okay, going. we are going slow, let the coin to other moments, like, yes, yet turn two mad scientists into a secret, so that's really good in arena. And he has the second mad scientist. Now I'm fucking scared, man. Just gonna put down the iron for Gizli and hope that he's not snipe. Okay, so he didn't got snipe. That's a good sign. So, yeah, let's see. Deadly shot. I think it was a top deck, but fuck it. That top kick. Gonna put down the puddle stomper. And I'm gonna craze alchemist that 2 1. So yeah, he can't kill us with that. I don't know if it's uh, freezing or explosive or even snakes. I really have to test it out, but it's being rough, guys. And he has the puddle, he has the fucking Kodo, man. This guy has an answer for everything. It's gonna be really difficult because we are getting out of health, out of steam. I don't really know. He just goes old face like he doesn't care. I'm gonna test for for freezing by eating the one two. It's not freezing, it's not snakes, it's fucking the thing. It's that thing. You know? You know what I'm saying? He is the fucking explosive. Okay, we're gonna put the injured blade master. I think it's the correct play. And I think we're gonna coin out the Earth and Ring Farce, but I'm not sure if I should do that, but I think that I should do that. Yeah, I'll just do it. If he rushes my face, I'm fucked. But we need the board control. But yeah, we still have a Guardian of Kings, I think that's the name of the guy that restores health, so I don't know, I'm really confused. Oh yeah, Owl Master, oh my god, this deck is so crazy, so crazy. 
Mm, he's not going all phase, he's trading. Or no, he's just going all phase. Okay, all out phase. Yeah. We are fucked. We have 10 health, man. We are so fucked. Fucked, boys. No, we drop down a Sun Fury. Nice. So we're gonna trade it like this. And then probably like this. And then do like this. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe this and that. Like this and that. And now we have a board. He has two secrets. Oh my Jesus. And yeah, I'm going to tell 10 off. Oh. Booty Bay Bodyguard. Booty Bay. Let's test for freezing. It's freezing. Yes, it's freezing. So, I think I'm going to put down a Dragon Consort and just Sun Fury. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm dead. If I don't draw into the Guardian of Kings, I'm f I'm dead. Totally dead. Don't stand a chance versus this. So yeah. I think I don't. I can't uh, throw out the. I th I think I can't attack right now because if I attack, I'll be fucked. You know, I'll be super fucked. Uh, I shouldn't put the shitter in. Also, I, I think I'm gonna just use the brewmaster, and yeah, I'm gonna hold down. I really need that draw. So. Yeah, I really need that draw. That draw is is going to decide whether I win or not. So, yeah. Please, RNG God. Please, Ben Brode. Please. Mm -mm -mm. We are, we are so, 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 so fucked. We are so fucking fucked up, so... Okay. Uh, if I attack now, let me just... He's already saying my apologies, so he's probably as lethal. Uh, but yeah, we should attack face, yeah. But yeah, let me see. He probably has little. Let's see. Let me see. He draw into Savannah Iman, and he has a kill command. Okay, he didn't add lethal, but yeah, he draw. Oh, he had lethal. Yeah, he had lethal because he could use the hero power. So yeah, we lost. We are two and two. Unfortunately, with a loss that wasn't supposed to be a loss. Let's keep on going. Yeah, that, that deck was crazy, man. With two mad scientists, two secrets, Savannah, man. Like, fuck. Fuck me, man. It was a good deck. Stampeding Kodo, Houndmaster. Uh, didn't saw Animal Companion, but yeah. With kill command also, so yeah, it was a pretty, 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 pretty good deck. Okay, Paladin versus Paladin, two on two. I I think I predict eight wins for this deck, and it's not going that well. Like I can't predict these connections, right? I think I can't. Okay, we're gonna just keep Crazy Alchemist. Hope for a three drop. Okay, we got chill mini, chill mini. That's good. Food. If we could get the Tinker, that would be even better. Tinker. But yeah. Oh man, oh man. I don't want this to be the last episode, man. I've tried so hard. 
and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Bubble thumb. Okay, he, another player that has turn one mad scientist, man. That shit is crazy, okay? Fuck. I really hate when they have really good draws, I guess. Let's see. I, I could go with the injured blade master, and I think it's better just to curve out well. But let's see. He has a secret, probably. Yeah, he has a secret. I don't know which secret it will be. I will, I think I will t test with a bluegill. That's a really nice, like. Okay, you went face. I, I think I, I might try. Yeah, bluegill, just bluegill that shit. Let me think better. Okay, if I bluegill that shit, it's fine. Or maybe we do with the. Nah, we have to bluegill first, yeah. Bluegill first, D11. Or D face, yeah, the, the 1 1. Uh, it was get down, okay. Get down, blah blah blah. Okay, nice. It was get down. So now we can do the play like kill this guy. Yeah. Oh, if he has consecration, we are wrecked. Just saying. But yeah. I think that this is the right play. If he has consecration, just clear out that thing and make a dude. Yeah, if he has consecration, man, he had a really nice draw. Just saying, but we can't dodge that. It's impossible. Oh, he top decked something. Let me see. Please, consecration. Top deck consecration, please. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh my god! Is this real life? It wasn't the top deck. Okay, I'm putting down the fairy dragon. And I'm gonna buff the fairy dragon. And just kill the other things? Probably. Yeah. I think it's the right play. Just kill that shit. But yeah. We are kind of uh, like winning, but we are also losing because we really don't have a lot of things to play. But we're gonna strike down with a Blower Feast Ogre to put some pressure on. We have the board, he has a weapon to deal with our stuff, but yeah. We still have two minions on board too. Like decent minions on board and he doesn't have nothing, just a true silver. But he has six cards on hand and we have just three, so we are losing... I think we are losing just a little bit. It depends on whether he has an answer to the Boulder Fist, which probably he doesn't, or yes. So yeah, Silver and Knight is is not a really good answer. We can clear this like. Let me think about this one. Whether I just. I think I'm gonna just Argent Commander the four four. And just clear out the other thing with my bullet fist. So consecration doesn't wreck that at all. Thinks just kills one minion. And I think the next turn we can play play the Archer Drake and the Earthen Rig Farsi. And we are looking well this time. Didn't saw any crazy plays from him. Just mad science, but that's that's just good. It's not crazy, no. It's just good. I never play like Agro Paladin. I don't like playing on Arena with secrets and stuff. With Paladin, I, I just think that it isn't good enough. Okay, puts down that minion. Let me think about this one. I think we're going to do the Drake first. Okay. So, I think we, here, we restore health to the Boulder Feast, clear that, and go face. So, if he has Consecration that he showed that he didn't have in the last turns, we are a bit a little behind, 
But if he doesn't, we win, basically. So I think that was the correct play. Let's see, we have to wait. It's a bit of pressure here. A little bit nervous. He's thinking about the play. Okay, he doesn't have consecration, fortunate. So I think we just won. Let me see, Emmer of Wrath. Or that's four mana. I think that's four mana. So yeah, no Emmer of Wrath. He has three mana. He has a secret. So yeah. We kind of have to watch out for that secret. I'm going to test the secret with my first year, I think. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't... It wasn't a uh, venge. It wasn't a uh, noble sacrifice. So it could be repentance, I think. We can test that out. Okay, it's repentance. So we are fine. We're just going to clear this with that. Restore health to our boulder feast. And I think we're going face right here. Because we have to put pressure now. Yeah, that was the correct play to go face right there. He has another heal. So yeah, he's holding down. He's holding with heals and stuff. It's fine. You have a lot of damage. Let me see if I don't miss little here. Okay, we have 7, 10, 14, 16. So yeah, we don't miss little here. Just gonna go ahead and clear that. Put this. And maybe put this also. Put the spec on. So yeah, we're basically winning. Already won. Just if I see a quality consecration. Maybe in that case we lose, but yeah, he has more heals, so it was the third Guardian of Kings. He had three Guardian of Kings, just look at that, three Guardian Kings, that's a lot of Guardian Kings. So, let's see if we have lethal here, we have 10, 13, 17, 21, so we have 21, we win. Good game to this guy, he holds strong. I had the board advantage for all the matches, so he won. But he had a really nice opener, you know. I also had a Shield Meteor turn too, but he had a Mad Scientist, Harvest Golem, yeah. True Silver Champion, so yeah, 3 2. That's good, and let's go ahead and go for the last match of this part that I don't know if it's the f final part or if we're gonna all have like more parts. Let me see. I hope we can win again. Oh, we got a enter again. I don't know if it's the same enter. I, I don't think so. But yeah, I don't like enters in arena. They normally are really OP, you know. Let me see if I can catch a 2 drop here. I catch Consecration and a Puddle Stomper. A Dragon Consort. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, totally fine. A Guardian of Kings, I really don't need that at all for now, but later on in the game, it's going to be useful. So, yeah. He coins out something, please not a mad scientist. He coins out a micro machine. That's also bad, because if I don't have ways to deal with that, I'm fucked. Puddle Stomper just straight off the back, just throw out a Puddle Stomper. Let me see if he doesn't have an answer. Please don't have an answer. Okay, Trog. He drugged me. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, so... What I'm going to do here, I'm going to throw out a crazed alchemist to the... to the Trogzor. And I'm going to kill the Micro Machine. So, if he has a way to deal with my crazed alchemist, I can always put a consecration if I feel that I really being pressured you know so this time he puts a scarlet crusader and I'm just straight up going to consecration that 
And yeah, it's a good consecration. We can have the board back if he doesn't put something big. So yeah. We have a little bit of an adventure depending on what he puts down. So let's see. He puts down Arcanial Fire. It's alright, it's not that good. It's just a minion, okay? If he just threw out just a Europe Power on turn 4, that would be great for us. But Arcanial Fire is not that scary for now. Okay, we put down the Dragon Consort, so we would like to get our Dr Azure Drake here or a another dragon that I have. Fairy, dra I have three, dra four dragons, I think. Dragon Consort, Azure Drake, Fairy Dragon, and the other one I don't know. I don't know. I forgot. But yeah, I really forgot. Yes, Stormwind Knight. He goes face, so he's going really aggro. Fortunately, I have a lot of heal, like loads of heal, loads of heal. And yeah, we are going well. We have the board control. We are still with a lot of life. He puts down a kill command to the dragon consort. Okay. And puts a money berserk. Okay, so we have to clear their money. We're gonna go ahead and put the Guardian of Kings for more board and heal. We draw into Arthur Drake, that's going to be really good later on. So yeah. We are alright, and my friend just ended a 3-3 arena with Warrior. RIP. But yeah, Warrior is difficult. We might do a Warrior. If we reach 8 wins in this one, we might do a Warrior straight off the back. But yeah. Okay, we have a lot of heal. We don't need to be pressured here. Just do the right place. So... I think I'm gonna throw out a Archer Drake. See what I draw into. Archer Drake. A Spectral Knight. So let me just do the trade up. Trades really quickly. I'm gonna trade this to this, this into this. And I could heal myself, but I don't know how it will, will have like 10 damage right now so i'm just going ahead and throw out a ancient brewmaster into the garden of kings and hope that he doesn't have 11 damage in the end he already threw out the like a kill command he just has three cards on end i hope he doesn't have lethal that would be so unlucky for us shade of naxxramas and king of beasts so he doesn't have lethal like normal like if he had lethal it would be just Crazy stupid. Okay, so let's put it and go with a Guardian of Kings. More heal, that's what we need. Uh, we could go and heal up the. No, I didn't miss lethal, okay? You're just salty because you lost an arena right now. I could go ahead and just throw the heal into my Boulder Fist, but I don't really think that's good because. We need the heal to the face. Because we are fighting. We are fighting a. Oh my god, I forgot the name. The, a hunter. But yeah. I choose to go with the Solemn Vil Vigil. Let me see if I'm seeing it. Yes, Solemn Vigil. Because we don't really need the. The one guy on board. We are good on board. So, yeah. But yeah. The deadly shot is really good. We're gonna head and put down a Earth and Ring Farsi for the face. A Spectral Knight. And a Ship's Cannon. So yeah, we are pretty good. We are looking to win this one. And that would be great. We had a lot of heal, we really countered the guy. Oh man, okay, so it wasn't that bad. It wasn't perfect, but it wasn't that bad. And we have the board, he doesn't have nothing on board. We are going to win this. Pretty sure that that's what is going to happen. Yeah, I'm just going for the Lord of the Ring and put a guy. Don't really need to extend my board. And I still have lethal next turn. Yeah, but... Yeah, that's it. I think we are we are good to go. Molten Giant, that's scary, but in a such an aggro deck, Molten Giant doesn't make a lot of sense. 
Maybe it was an early pick. I don't know. He has a lot of stealth guys, so we really went to the face. But yeah, we won. Fortunately, we won. We are 4-2. And yeah, we are surviving right now. And we still can reach those 8 wins that I really want. So I hope you like this episode, guys. If you want sound, like, I don't have sound right now in the last episode. If you want it, just say it. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary, so I just didn't put just in my voice. It's right. But yeah. 4-2 is good, we didn't have disconnection problems right now, we just lost versus a really good answer in the first match and then we won the two matches. So yeah, see you guys in the next part, this was part 2.